Hello Techies, welcome to another video of PySpark learning series. Uh, so today in this video we will see what is a Spark SQL and how we can integrate high with Spark. We will also see some practical examples of reading the data from a Hive table and then creating a data frame. Uh, and then we'll see like how we can write the data frame into a hive table but before that let's uh, go through some of the theoretical aspects of this topic uh, so what is spark sql spark sql is nothing but a module which provides the processing capability of structured data so you can imagine that it is processing the data but it also has the information about the structure of the data okay so in in internally internally it gives additional information to spark and then it enhances the uh, overall optimization so it is you can imagine as it's a better way of processing the data if we use the spark sql context it also gives us um, uh, the freedom of using uh, sql queries like uh, language okay so within spark we can run these sql queries and use of spark sql as i said uh, we can run the sql queries uh, and then it can also be used to read and write the data from or to an existing uh, hive installation okay so that uh, example we will see the result will be uh, written as a data frame so that data frame we can take it further and do some uh, you know uh, processing on top of uh, the data frame and then we can maybe save it as a text file save it as a parquet file or we can also uh, write it back to a hive table okay now spark uh, sql with hive so spark sql it supports the reading and writing of data that is stored in apache hive okay uh, and apache hive it comes with the spark uh, session uh, that context comes with the spark session uh, where we can uh, work with uh, hive and we don't have to you know uh, have any existing hive deployment uh, it still it's it's just like we have to enable the hive support uh, in the spark session that i will show uh, practically the code how we enable the hive support and the context automatically creates a metastore db so metastore db is the place where it saves all the meta metadata of the hive uh, databases uh, and it is stored in the current directory the backend files also we can see i will show that once we jump over to the practical example and it creates the directory uh, which is configured by spark sql warehouse.dir okay and uh, this warehouse um, uh, is we need to define this warehouse in the code uh, and the path of it uh, where uh, the spark will understand like uh, where it has to create the objects okay so that we need to define in the code that we will see uh, shortly so let's jump over to uh, my notebook and then I can demo uh, how we can read the data from uh, spark and, and then how we can also write the data to a spark table so if you see this we are importing just it's it's a normal uh, library for absolute path we are uh, uh, importing which we will be using to define the location of the spark warehouse uh, okay and then we are uh, as usual we are importing the spark session just I'll run this uh, let it import all the libraries once this library is imported right with a absolute path I am just defining that my warehouse is present in this location okay so since it is my root directory I am not providing the path explicitly I am just saying that the warehouse for my spark uh, for my hive is spark underscore um, or spark hyphen warehouse so this we are defining let me run this so now if you see in the backend files we don't have uh, the meta store uh, db as well as um, the warehouse right it is not there but once we run this code it will get created so now uh, the instance that we will be creating for spark session we need to enable the hive support as i said right um, we don't have to do any installation separately we just have to enable the hive support and in the config we are saying what is my directory for uh, my warehouse okay so whatever location i am uh, fixing here that i can define in the config so uh, spark will know that this particular location is the warehouse directory okay and then get or create as usual uh, we are doing so we'll just run this now the next uh, step is uh, the spark sql context okay using spark sql context we will be uh, creating a hive table okay so as you can see i'm using the spark context dot sql 
and then I'm giving uh, uh, SQL like language. Uh, so this this command is to create a hive table. Okay, so create hive table. I am creating one table which is a products table, and in this I'll be having uh, three columns: uh, product ID, product name, and then product price. Okay, so these uh, three columns I'll create for this table and let's just run this and then I'm also uh, giving the format of data. Uh, so fields are delimited and terminated by comma. So it is kind of a comma separated fields. I just defined it here. Uh, so let me create this table. Uh, once it gets created, we'll again go back to the uh, backend folders and we'll check. Okay, I'll just refresh. Now you can see Metastore DB is created. Okay and also spark warehouse is now defined but inside spark warehouse you'll see just a, an empty table got created so this is nothing but the table that i just now created uh, products table right right now it is empty because i haven't loaded the uh, table yet right it is just created and inside this metastore db you will see there are logs and then db.log and other uh, metadata related to hive so these are created so i can check uh, the structure of the table that i just now we created so we can check the uh, structure of this table i'll just issue the command describe extended and products table dot show and i'm using again the spark dot sql context so this is again a hive command which will tell us the structure of the table so as you can see the table got created successfully and it has uh, the columns product id product name uh, product price and then these are the data types and then other uh, details it is giving because I'm using extended, right? So it has given me the location and other things as well. So uh, our uh, uh, table got created successfully and uh, we saw it in the backend as well. The folder is in place, but that is empty at the moment. So what we can do, we can load that uh, table with the sample file that I have created. Okay, so the, the sample file, I can show that once. Uh, so it has the product ID. Uh, product name and then price okay and that this is what three columns we created in our table so we'll try to load this file now into the table okay so again the spark command for that that is a load data local in path so local in path because this all thing is running locally and my file is also present in the local system so uh, i'm just trying to load the uh, load the data from local system to hive Okay, so local in path and it is root folder. So that is why I'm just giving sample.txt. I am not giving any path in this and then into the table that we just now created. So just let's run this. Uh, this is now loaded. Now this we can verify in two ways. We can check again the backend uh, folder for it. So under spark warehouse where we saw that table was created. Now if you see sample.txt is the file which got uh, copied here okay and under under the uh, table name this file is now present so that is how, how uh, it also shows the location of this table right in the extended command that we just now saw so when uh, we can verify that using the select query uh, again using the spark.sql and then i can select star from this products table and then if I run this, you will see that it will return me the data which it has. Uh, I'll just do a show here of this. It will show me the complete data. Okay, so this is how the backend uh, table uh, now is uh, loaded with. Uh, and then uh, here you can see it already is saying that it is a data frame. So whatever uh, the uh, output of this uh, commands will be, it will be again a data frame only. And we can use this data frame to whatever processing we want. We can use it as it is. Uh, so this is nothing but the data frame. So this is how we can uh, create a table and then load the file in that and then create a data frame, a data frame from this table. So this was all about reading the data from the hive tables. Uh, we can also see how we can now write the data into a new hive table. So what I will do is let's uh, do some processing in on this table. So what I want to do is I want to get the list of the premium products. OK, and the premium products I am defining is uh, whatever price uh, of the pro product is more than thousand. Uh, it is a premium product. So here it's a simple SQL like command again. 
using the SQL context. So I will filter that data. So once I run this uh, based on this condition, it will fetch the records from this uh, from my base table that we just now created that is the products table and it will create and put it into a new data frame. Okay, so let's run this. Uh, so as soon as we run this, uh, this uh, filter data will get created a data frame and we can print the schema as well for this and we can also do a show to display the number of rows it has selected. So now you can see it selected only two rows which is greater than equal to 1000. So this way we can filter it out or do whatever processing we want on top of this data. And now once I am uh, final that yeah this is the data that I wanted I have processed it. I want it to write into another hive table maybe uh, a table which will be accessed by the customers. Uh, so I just want to write this data into the new hive table. So again to create a hive table what I am just doing is write uh, command uh, and then save as table. So this is the data frame which is created here and then I am doing a write and then save as table and I am giving a table name. So right now in the backend metadata if we see we have just one table here products table. I don't have any other table but as soon as I issue this command uh, this table will get created. It will take the structure from the input data frame and it will assign all those column uh, values and data types accordingly and it will create a hive table. So let's run this this command on top of filter data data frame. So it, it ran successfully. Uh, let's just uh, verify it. I'll just select star from again this premium products table which just now created and then I'll do a show here to see the data in it and as you can see the structure as well and the two records that it has inserted in this table. So this is the new table and in the back end also if we see uh, you will see that premium products table is already present here and the data it has written into is parquet uh, parquet format which is the default one so since we haven't defined the format it has taken the default as a uh, parquet format but we can define the different uh, formats as well here now once this is uh, uh, written into a new table uh, we can again uh, do a describe to see the structure and location of this table. It will tell me the location uh, as well here. Uh, how much uh, is the space that it has taken and it is a type as managed uh, table and what are the three columns. It is showing me that uh, structure of this table and uh, yeah so this way uh, we can write the data into hive table and we also saw how, how we can read the data from hive, hive tables. So this way we can perform a lot of uh, SQL query like operations and get the desired result that we want. So this was all about uh, integrating hive and spark SQL. I hope uh, you like this video and it is useful for you. If so, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any other informative videos that I will be posting. Until then, have a nice day. Bye bye.